hi i welcome all of you in my channel and in this video this is the second part of the series that i am going to show you that how we can obtain a multiple objective optimization or multiple optimization on the basis of taguchi results so so in this video i am going to tell you that how we can generate the principal component analysis and these principal component analysis results will be used as a weights that are to be integrated with the GRA gray relation analysis. So we will get a weighted GRA that is a that is basically a multiple objective optimization technique. So first of all, I want to show you that we have four different response variables, namely tensile strength, impact energy, hardness, and angular distortion. When we when we optimize these responses using Taguchi method, so we will get tensile strength at, at treatment number five, impact energy at treatment nine, hardness at treatment number five, and angular distortion at treatment three. So all of these four variables, four response variables have different optimization levels. So it will be quite difficult for us to achieve all of them. So that's why we will use a multiple objective optimization that is namely weighted GRG and where the weights are we will obtain from the PCA. The first step in this process is to normalize the SN ratio, whether these SN ratios are larger the better or smaller the better. You must have to normalize that data set that I have shown you earlier in this video. So we have two criteria for the normalization, one for larger the better and the second one is smaller the better. So I will use this formula for my tensile strength and impact energy results, whereas I will use this formula for my hardness and angular distortion results. So let's go to the Excel file so where I can tell you that how I've converted my signal to noise ratio into the normalized values. So these are my signal to noise ratio and in the beneath, in this way, I have converted these of the above signal to noise ratios into the normalized values. So we, I'm going to show you, uh, show you the formula for the normalized values. It, the formula for the larger the better is individual value minus minus um, minus minimum of the signal to noise ratio value and then divided by maximum signal to noise ratio value for a specific response variable minus minimum signal to noise ratio then I, I i can say that in the excel file i can say that the minimum of tensile strength data is 52.97 and the maximum is 56.43 this one fifth number so i have used the minimum and the maximum formula you can see here these two formulas so after calculating i have subtracted each value so let's suppose i have said that this individual value means the first signal to nice ratio minus minimum so minimum has been shown in the cell l19 divided by maximum values shown in the l20 so l20 minus l19 and i have inserted the dollar symbol with both row and columns to make these minimum and maximum values as constant so in this way i have dragged down the whole column for nine values and this, this is the normalized ratio same formula has been applied for the second one that is impact energy but a different formula for this a lot last two columns hardness and the angular distortion so this is the formula for smaller the better maximum of the signal to noise ratio minus individual signal to noise ratio and then divide by the same as above so again we will go to the excel we see here that our, regarding the formula that maximum minus n8 the value in the n8 is my signal to noise ratio the first one signal to noise ratio for hardness and then divided by n20 minus n19 that, uh, that are again kept as constant after normalization the data the next step is the calculation of gray relational coefficients and these gray relational coefficients will be then used for the computation of the weights using pca so let me show you what this formula is meant delta minimum q this is the minimum of the normalized value delta max q this is the maximum of the normalized value so this value has been taken as 0.5 in most of the optimization problems 
and in this my research paper i have also taken this value as 0 0.5 with a with a citation with a reference and then delta 0j in the q it means that this is the deviation sequence so deviation sequence is meant by that you will have to subtract each value each normalized value y q is basically the no, the individual normalized values okay from the maximum of the normalized value please remember the maximum of the normalized value will be always one and the minimum of the normalized value will be always zero let's go to the excel and i'm going to show you this thing that you can see this is over deviation sequence so deviation the first deviation sequence has been obtained by subtracting l24 from l35 now what is l34 uh, l24 and l35 so let me show you there uh wait a second please so here you can see l24 l24 is the first one normalized value as zero and l35 this is l35 and it is one and this is a maximum of these normalized value you can see that in this cell i have inserted the formula of the maximum of f l24 to l32 means the maximum of all these nine values so i hope that you got the concept of deviation sequence please remember that deviation sequence is same for larger the better or smaller the or smaller the better further the formula for the grc is also same for smaller the better and larger the better so in this way i have computed the grc's relational coefficients in the next step okay uh, now how i have seen you can see the data formula 0 0.5 divided by r8 divided by 0 0.5 now how this formula comes out to be you can see that delta minimum uh, is always be zero delta maximum is always be one so this zero plus one multiplied by 0 0.5 that comes out to be 0 0.5 you can see it here in the numerator now we come towards the denominator again you can see the del max q it is equal to one then plus you have different deviation sequence for each of the cells so one thing that i want to say that there is a mistake in the draft of the paper that there should be also sour here and that value is also 0 0.5 so in this way you will get this formula divided by 0 0.5 and you will get all these four gray relational coefficients now what we will do we will copy all this data this relational coefficients and we will paste this data in the mini tab we'll have to click here and the whole data will be pasted then the next step is go to the stat then go to uh you can see a uh, multivariate principal components go there select all of the four variables there and then like this then you will say that it, it will be based upon covariance matrix okay then just click ok so you will get the results now what the results are showing results showing that our first principal component is explaining 56 percent of the variation in the whole system okay so we will get that's very good these are very good results so we will pick our first principle the values of our first principal component so you will have to do what you will have to copy this data of the pc1 only and uh, and paste the whole data has been pasted so i will have to paste it initially i have copied all the four first principal component values for the four response variables but here the question arises that all of these values are not positive further their sum is also not equal to zero so what we will do we will take the square of all these values references are available in my research papers or you need a special reference i can give you that and then we will take the square of each values then after taking the square when i will take the sum of these four um, square terms it will always be equal to you can say uh, sorry i haven't oh oh sorry i haven't in put a uh, point with these uh, point six six and this one so really sorry so you can see the value automatically become very ne uh, near to the one so it means that all of the sum of these four values is equal to one so in order to get a gray relational relational clade so these four become now 
um, you can see my weights for the most important variable they have considered as welding distortion that one was that was one of the most important uh, response variable for my research work the second one was hardness and the least importance uh, were given um, to the impact energy so anyhow uh, these are the results of the experimentation i will have to use these re these results so let me use the first one and then i will press the function f4 key to make it uh, fixed then i will multiply with the first one then i will say plus the second weight and make it again shift uh, function f4 multiply by the second grc then plus the third one weight we will make it fix and then sorry again we will make it fix multiply by uh, this third z3 then plus and then, then the last one the last one function f4 we will make it fix multiply by this fourth one okay then you will click okay we will go, got our first grg this is basically gray relational clay grade and these are my you can see then when i will make it uh, merge and center so we will we will say that these are my grc gray relational coefficients just when i will drag it down we will get over gray relational grades and you can see that the experiment number eight was found to be having the highest gray relational grade so we can say at this experiment number eight this one is the most optimized one uh, for the multiple objective optimization but here the story doesn't came to end we will again we have to again copy this grg copy from here paste it in material so you can see this is one of the, uh, my main mini type file that i have used for the analysis of this research paper uh, we will go to simply stat doe taguchi then analyze taguchi design in this design my column number c27 it contains the grg then i will go to the options i say that larger do the analysis using the larger the better criteria then click ok and now these are my final results you will have to do your most important focus on this you can say that the groove angle number three has the highest grg so g3 then uh, preheat temperature has the first level at the highest grg so g3 p1 electrode temperature is the first one so then you can say e1 and the root cap is again 4 so g3 p1 e1 and r4 this is basically the setting that will optimize my all of four response variables simultaneously and that's what we get from the multiple objective optimization technique so this was my second video and i hope you will like this video please uh, if you have any question please whatsapp me comments um, com do comments and subscribe my channel many thanks for watching this lengthy video bye bye